Hello, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the Thresher, Mark 1, specifically. Um, the Thresher is a super important tool at the beginning, and really, as you go on, you're going to be using it more. Um, and I just wanted to go over some of the layouts that can work well uh, for an assembly line for the Thresher, and kind of how much support you need for it. Um, because... At least for the way it is right now, it is not what you might expect. Um, basically, with just one thresher, you can currently support that many planters. And the ratio right now uh, is a little bit wonky. Um, let's go over the ratio real fast. Um, so basically, you can see here with the new metrics that it's going to take 15 per minute of the plants, and it's going to output 15 seeds per minute, and 45 um, of the um, the stick bundles. I forget the name for them. Uh, anyways, <clears throat> let's take a quick look at the... numbers so if we go here uh, one of the ways that we can break it up is uh, sort of into threes so we go 15 divided into three and then divide the five into three as well or the other approach we can take is we go into choose where do they put that one yeah here we go The reason the number is a little bit odd is because um, there are, when you look at the planter cycle time, it's actually a, a strange, it's a little strange number. It's 128 seconds, 2.13 minutes to get four or at least one Kindle line out of it. Um, the it's almost 32 every every two minutes but it's not it's a, it's, it's a little bit less than that <clears throat> so if you divide it into three this is kind of what it looks like um, so what you can see here basically is 3.55 per 2.13 minutes um, which basically refers to the, the, that it's, it's slightly less than four, right? Um, you're not going to get four if you divide it up this way. And if you go over here, you can see that if you divide it up into choose, you get much, much, much closer to four per minute. So this, if you divide it up into choose, you're basically getting a slightly more efficient um set up at least in theory so over here i have i've divided it up into threes this is the three one yeah this is the three one you can see the output of the seeds is coming in here then there's three possible paths you can take and each one of the thirds itself has three possible paths okay. the planters are four tiles apart which lets me put two belts in between um, you can also do them three tiles apart like over here and go for this sort of setup um, what I have found with this sort of setup is that you can't predict which of the two planters is going to take the uh, the seed when it comes up 
Uh, and yeah, and, if, and what hap what happens if your if your rate isn't quite perfect? Um, like what will happen is um, maybe one of the planters will take all the seeds and the other one just sits there. Uh, but if you have enough seeds, it's not really much of an issue. Um, but if you just want to make sure that it's divided up evenly, then you can separate out your belts like I have done here. Uh, and you can have it that way. The reason that the seeds are not split up evenly right now, you can see that there's more on this side than on this side. Uh, it's just because I was messing around with the belts earlier. Uh, so, so the setup is inheriting that. previously and then the other setup I have on here is this one I divided things into two so here's the first two-way split and that goes into a second two-way split and each one of these two-way splits is again split two more ways yeah. So in theory, this is the most efficient setup where you will have the least amount of waste. Um, <clears throat> the seeds are piling up because um, what happens is you you can't just put in, you know, 32 seeds and expect the system to be perfect at that point because you do have all these belts right so this there's travel time in the belts so you have to account for that by putting in extra seeds um otherwise your thresher is going to sit idle for part of that time um and you know i kind of went overkill i put a hundred a hundred seeds in which does mean that there's quite a few extras here um but you, you don't need to put that many in. I think probably even half of that will be fine. Um, maybe 60 would be okay, just to be safe. Uh, you can see that in this setup, the planters are 100% capacity because there's they all have seeds waiting on them. And then the uh, thresher also has kindle vines that are sitting there uh, waiting to be processed. <clears throat> um, and it's actually surprisingly not at a hundred percent efficiency because you can see it's just about to run out of Kindle vines here. And if I turn on the um, alt view, so it has two Kindle vines in there. It's going to process both of them, I believe, before it's going to get another Kindle vine. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Oh, the, you know, it, it just, it was just barely there. Um, and it was kind of puzzling me why this was happening because it shouldn't, I didn't think it was gonna be that, that close. Um, and then when I was looking at the numbers, well, I think the thresher is actually putting out 16 seeds per minute or very very close to 16 seeds per minute it's like 15.9 something if not 16 itself um, it is right there on the edge and I'll show you that here with this timer Anyways, um, so given that, I adjusted my numbers, um, but yeah, like it, it's the, the number is still very close. Um, but yeah, it, it was, like it's 
knowing that it's 16 instead of 15 doesn't really change the setup. It's not going to support additional planters, I don't think. I could add a planter here, um, but it's going to overwhelm this thresher. So interestingly, with just with, uh, with just one thresher, you can account for the output of this many planters. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight planters. Um, no problem. It's going to use up all of that, uh, which means that if you want to scale this up, um, you ha you do have to take up quite a bit of room with these with these ex additional planters, right? Um, I actually think that you'd be fine to just pull, push it back and add another row of planters right here and a second thresher. Um, you could do that on the same belt system. I don't think it would overwhelm it. You can see that there are there's quite a bit of empty capacity on the belts. You could probably um, go three or four rows of planters. Um, which might be my next X. I haven't quite gone that route yet. Right now, I'm just dumping the stems in here because um, I was just testing out the recipes. But I, I do have another set that has not been optimized where I, I am processing the stems. So this setup is unoptimized over here and see what it looks like anyways i hope this was useful thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one